we just grabbed another pre-bug Zuma and uh, pretty stoked on this one. I don't know how much you're gonna be able to see right now. As you can tell, she's bare bone right now. We got all the parts all separate. It's literally like a Zuma in a box right now. We're gonna build this thing. It already runs though. We're gonna build this thing and check it out. It's got the big boy seat too. Here's the box full of Zuma parts and uh, the pre-bug itself. As the pre-bug sits right now, it's literally all in pieces, but as it sits right now, this thing starts, it runs. Um, I can start it right now, I will in a second. It's actually a 97, I thought this was an older one, but now I see the seat, it's the fat seat, it has the big old gas tank too. The super tall gas tank, which I have in the red one, which is like, I think it's a 1.5 or 2 gallon tank. It's huge. All I know is it lasts me on the rides when I usually have to fill up twice on the Elite. On this thing it lasts every time. But another pre-bug though, that's four pre-bugs now. We got the, we got like the street style one, you know, the build. We got the completely OEM one. We got the wheelie bike. I don't know what this one's going to be. We might keep it. Maybe we get rid of it. I don't know. Uh, maybe 500 likes and we'll make this one the dirt jump scooter because I want to make an off-road scooter so 500 likes if you guys want to see this one be the dirt scooter While we're on the subject of Zuma, I figured it's only right to give a shout out to my boy Jared for sending his Zuma shield out that's the exact matching color as my wheelie bike Zuma because he knows how broken my headset is right here. So now I have a freshy headset. I'm going to reposition my gauges to the sides right there on each side probably. Put that in there and uh, he hooked it up. He also sent me my most favorite candy in the world which is the flavored Tootsie Rolls, the Fruities. Oh man, now we gotta go through the whole box. They all fell down in here. Dude, he hooked it up fat, which is crazy because I just went and bought some on my way back from California the other day, which was six bucks for this bag one right here. But dude, this is, these are literally the best candies ever. These are like the OG high chews. If you like high chews or Starburst or anything like that, these are like the OG ones. There she is, fully put together now. Um, just need to put some gas in it. I can go give it its first ride. So tomorrow it's a little late now It's already like 11 at night tomorrow. I'll get some gas throw it in there and We'll take this thing for its first little ride, but a lot of the panels are cracked just like pretty much I mean any bike I've gotten has some type of flaw usually with cracked panels um, Mine has the same thing right here where it's cracked all the way down it lifts up That piece that one has that this one was obviously hit in the front and like someone's knee came back and hit this. So this is cracked, doesn't have a bolt here. Cracked off, cracked off. Um, and missing the little shroud right here. And that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty okay. The exhaust was hit. All right boys, it's time. Gonna throw some fresh gas in it because I dumped the gas out. Took the oil tank out so it's pre-mixed now. And uh, I really want to take this seat and put it on my blue and white bug so bad because it's a double seat and it's way better for wheelies, but I don't want to change the blue seat. Oh, she's a ripper. She just wants to run with no air box. I get to clean this carb on this black bike. We gotta cut to some quick footage while I do this because I don't wanna film me just doing this. So 
we will see once we are cleaned. All right, here we got a very large box from Scooter Swap Shop contained with only things of mystery. I have no idea what anything is in this box at all, so we're gonna find out. There's gonna be a lot of random stuff. I already know, because I just sent them a bunch of random stuff, so I can't imagine what's in here. This is gonna be, uh, there's a lot, a lot, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in here. There is so much stuff in here. Big shock. That just crushed some stuff. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Oh man, what is this even from? ADD? Do I even go? I'm not even gonna, dude. I don't even know how to go through this. We literally got toothbrushes in here. Got a belt. This is huge. T-shirt. Yo. T-shirt piece. Great glitter. Grips. Zuma pre-bug cooling shot it looks like. Dude, this is exactly what I needed for that KX80 with a 28 millimeter carb. This is going straight on the KX80 if this thing works. 52 Dio water cooled board uh, gasket. Ooh, and see why brake lever is that? Uh, it's front brake. We got, oh my god, I can't believe I let this drop though. Dude. We got a Dio rear carbon fender for a Dio. This is so gas. This is real handmade carbon too. That's insane. This is all actually for my anniversary at Scooter Spop Shop because I've officially spent one million dollars there now. So, one million dollars and uh, you'll get a gift bag like this. It's time to wrap it up with the Zuma. I cleaned the carb, got it running a lot better, but she still needs a little love, but we're running out of time for tonight, and I don't want to drive my neighbors too crazy running this thing up and down the block anymore. It's time to wrap this video up because I've been slacking on getting the uploads. So, so busy behind the scenes with everything, and I cannot wait to show you guys. There's been so much behind the scenes with the car, with stuff coming with the scooters, and a whole lot more. So, you will see soon. I can't wait to show you guys. This is gonna be a game changer. I like uploading at least twice a week and I've been slacking lately, barely being able to even manage to get one video out um, because it's just been so nonstop. That's gonna do it for the Black Prebug and the Black Prebug is for sale um, already. I'm parting this thing out or selling it, whatever comes first. If someone buys the motor, I'm parting it out. I don't wanna try to sell little things and be stuck with the motor. So if someone buys the heart of the bike, I'll part everything out. So hit me up if you're looking for a Prebug engine um, and if the pre-bug ended and sold, you can hit me up for anything else on the bike except for the seat. The seat and the rack are mine, and I'm going to use those in case I ever wanted to throw a double seat on my blue and white bike here and get rid of the single for a little bit. I can always just swap my double seat on, or even on this bike because the seat cover's thrash. So I'm keeping the seat, but everything else will be for sale if the scooter doesn't sell as a whole. So that's how it is, boys. Make sure you guys check out the description. Grab yourself some Mop Boys gear. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.